Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen run, the flawless run where I'm trying to beat the game without losing a mission, a soldier or anything in that regard plus flawlessing all of the missions. We're going to uh, go for a neutralization of a field commander and get the sharpshooter. I want a deeper roster and I figured that a sharpshooter would make sense. We only have one so far. Um, so neutralization of a field commander it is. We're getting in with our prime team or let's say the ones that are available and not on a covert action mission. Uh, we're taking Ripper with us again and Sonar whom we have successfully rescued from a, another mission in the last mission actually so we're good to go to deploy let's go go let's go all right we landed uh, let's take a good look this is one of these maps that is a little bit more seldom i think that was an l shape and we're on the low ground and then there's some extensive high ground the uh, the target could be anywhere really I'm on the move. so let's carefully advance and see what we're dealing with shall we as long as we're not triggering any of the packs we should be fine And believe me, the last thing that I want to do is trigger that here prematurely. I'm all over it. I want to get to the general and kill this guy before anything else happens. Alright, moving up further up. Let's see if we can spot out the general somehow. Affirmative, moving out. Got it covered. And again, let's hope that this pack be It's not going to cause any problems for us. Forgot to check uh, what the heck would offer us. That's the general right here. Okay. Listen, all we need to do is survive a little bit longer here. up moves up I just want to get to the general really Positione confermata. Move, move, move. I go where I'm we are of course trapped down there Good. This will trigger and with it the timer for the vision starts. Moves up. Viper dies. I take a new approach. 
Take the high ground, ignore the loot for now. We need to get to the captain. Fabulous. Okay. Go into here. More death from above. Okay. Moving to position. Good, we know the guy is there. Got it, move it. Um let's use the Reaper. To move up without any repercussions. I can cover it. <laughs> okay. Over there. Gotcha. Fantastic. Heading out. Affermativo. Mi muovo. Okay, let's hope there is no chosen on this map, otherwise this would like <laughs> Why are you even saying that? I will end this quickly. Not good. She started there. Not good at all. Our soldiers are suffering out there. Okay, great. We just triggered them. Well, it could be worse. Why am I even saying that? Wow, triplet pack. Why can't I just shut up and... Not good. Okay, so she started over here. Let's see if we can reveal her. There we go. That'll get her out of stealth. Six percent chance to take that thing out. Um, good, we'll come to that in a second. It will be done. For now, let's get this guy. Shut up. Needed to have a short break. Let's try to get that pack here down. Moving. The chosen should be okay as long as uh, sh uh, she's revealed. Good, so that hits two of them plus shreds them. Chosen will not engage us because she's currently revealed, which is good. That'll help us. Uchido. 
In the meantime, this here should be... A good double kill. Sorry, continue being interrupted here. So, what we want to do is get rid of the purifier. Another death from above. Fantastic. We do have Blade Storm. So even if that wouldn't have killed him, there would have been the option to Blade Storm him to death. Listen, we could do something along the lines of this here. That is 100% shredding, hitting and cover removal. I think we should go all the way up there for the chosen next turn. I'll take the 100% chance. All right, back. So let's try this one. That should be full shredding, two fall damage, and removal of cover. Unfortunately, not how I envision it to go. problem and uh, the only way to resolve that problem is with more explosives it's a bit of a waste that we need to use the shrapnel for this yeah but at least we killed everyone Chosen moved somewhere to here. There she was. Right here in the corner. Okay. Move down. Let's use our little bit of last explosives uh, to get her out. Reaper moves up. I'm just trying to deal a lot of damage to her. Unfortunately, that was not really a lot of damage.
continue to move up. I mean, the only way well, we can get her down is by essentially critting like a lot. Finally, a true strike. She's immune to melee, right? Yeah. Just barely not enough to grapple. I mean, we could get into the open here to maximize uh, the hit chances. Doesn't really matter against her because uh, she is seldom using her shotgun. Just trying to use the proximity bonus or uh, to get as close as possible to her. It was a good hit. That was a fantastic hit. A trivial wound. We will overcome. Team working over and let's hope we can just get her down. Oh yeah, fantastic. Pretty weird uh, setup, but it showed you how to efficiently use uh, my abilities and effectively get three packs down at once including the chosen and it also demonstrated the power of battle scanners very very strong against the chosen at least we know these chosen can be killed well temporarily Larum core, great. Advanced stock, not bad either. And a lot of corpses. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Commander, come <sighs> against the aliens day and Fear of the Chosen, not great. We gotta work on on that. We'll need to keep an eye on each soul. Alright, long watch. Dead eye. And I would like to get lightning hands as well. Let's go into the training center. Well, that's good. Death from above on uh, on that grenadier. We should definitely use bastard. Hmm, run and gun on Hexer, not bad either. If the Templar followers would pursue their goal to the Elder's ruin, then we have no objections to this. Scanning protocol isn't bad either. I like that a lot. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, Death from Above, fantastic ability. Okay, so we do not have enough intel at the moment. We should definitely get more in order to continue expanding. Next up would be right here. Integrated warfare with all of, uh, if we ever get PCSs, that would be fabulous. In the meantime, in the absence of that ability. I wonder if we should just build a resistance tower here and then we can whoosh over. Is there anything that we need to upgrade soon? Um, armor, right? Yeah, okay. Well, then we need more and not less funds. Let's get into for the Eastern US precinct. Also, we could do with bl uh, blue screen rounds at this point, so I should prioritize that as well. When inspired, our team is actually fabulous. A 
after a care free purifier autopsy which isn't bad and we got two days off of uh, the gauss weapons you know what let's do that new orders commander um missing 50 supplies you can't easily get those unless we're clearing this year or stopping the proving grounds which i don't want to do there were some casualties during that last covert action but our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest this latest piece of intel on the chosen might prove useful Keep this good we can't under. yet hunt her completely down let's wait for that for a second we wanted to do the uh, facility soon anyways uh, promotion is good another reaper definitely would be good this here is a nice little addition plus health also is fine Good, we are back. I needed to take care of a couple of um, real life related topics. So hopefully now without further interruptions, uh, we can continue. So we could get an another Reaper, which is actually, actually not a bad reward. Having a second one would help us out big times. The other option is rapid collection which again would save a lot of time on the uh, on the uh, strategy layer reduction of avatar progress always good tactical education definitely good specifically for a six day mission how long until end okay well you know what we could actually do that get a promotion out of it on top of it is not bad so Roro here could get a promotion and hmm who do we need to promote it Roro definitely would be a great option yeah, just to catch up with the rest of uh, the pack. Let's do that. He'll get his promotion. We get uh, on top of it more combat intelligence on him, and we're good to go. Cool. Uh, we get another intel mission, which is fantastic. Uh, that is a dark VIP mission, so let's get going. And I think right after the mission, we should also consider going for the um, facility soon. Good, Roro is gone, but that doesn't mean we can't use his uh, bond mate. Hmm. Main team is completely tired, but I would like to go in with a Reaper, so let's ignore Bonds for a moment. Good. What is missing? Another sharpshooter here would be missing. Which is where Shinrod comes into play. Just out of curiosity, wow, 24 days for an appropriate Murphy. That is a long time. Anything that we can build or should build. Oh yeah, Temple upgrade, definitely. Good. We got our weapon upgrade there. That's fine. Templar goes with mind shield. Um, A5 is taking the reveal. 
Taking another mind shield. And that nice little augmented gun. Cover removal available, that's good. Um, and then finally, we're going to get the marksman rifle and a flashbang grenade. Um, we would get more supplies and that's, uh, those supplies would finally get us the armor upgrade that we need. And with Predator Armor we can take more utility items onto the mission, so let's go. Good. We're going to capture that VIP and we already saw a pack whilst the camera was uh, going, which looked like a Viper plus something pack. I think Viper plus a couple of Advents. Aggressively pushing forward with our Reaper, Triple Viper, and another Viper pack. Okay. Good. 8-5 moves up. Templar very much moves up. VDM moves up. Wilson moves up. We're going to engage soon. We have 14 rounds, so it's not urgent, urgent, but. Engaging sooner than later is a good idea. So unfortunately VIPs then see elsewhere this would be an absolute perfect uh, remote start. Listen, nonetheless, I think this year could still be good. Um, A deadly trap. We're going to we're going to do the classical double whammy. Gets us two kills and specifically the advanced 30 kills. Uh, specifically the advanced uh, purifier is a helpful kill right off the bat. Good. More enemies uh, there. High ground. Shinrod takes a better high ground. Um, and Templar gets into a better position as well. We still have concealment on our Ranger, which I will frantically abuse in order to get closer. Oh, look at that. The final one of the three shows his ugly face. Can summon priests? Return fire sucks. Um, that's a bad one. Uh, gains health. Need to hit him often. And he hates skirmishers. Of course, the only class that we don't have with us at the moment. Okay, get ready for zombies. Chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. Uh 
All right, time to get one of the vipers down. Okay, fantastic. The other two hopefully scramble and take some sort of cover. Nicely spotted us out. Okay, that's fine. Got loot here, which I don't want to miss out on. So I'll bite the bullet this time. Scope isn't bad. That's a decent uh, start for us. Could move all the way to here and teach him a lesson. Getting closer, and let's hit this Viper. Good shot, good shot, I like it. It's down to three, which means this here is 100% kill, thanks to the superior stock. Even if we would have missed, that would have been three damage. Which also makes this here much more simple, as it is a shotgun to the face. Okay, and the one guy that should have gotten a few kills uh, mm, did not get uh, any. Should have really moved in with uh, Hawkbite. No, Storm. Stormwalker. Okay, uh, listen, this here is outside of explosion range, let's hit this guy. Finally we're getting some more focus, there we go. And we're continuing to move up. Moves to there. Moves to here. And moves to there. Good, in terms of battle scan, I'm almost certain that there is another pack somewhere. That was too easy so far. Alright, my almost certainty was incorrect. Yeah, 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 blah, blah. Less talking, more going. There are the priests, or respectively the one priest. We'll drop an extra loot item, so that's not bad. Mind Scorch into immunity. Yep, completely immune. Okay, moving up. That's a fantastic grenade. Good 
good shredding. We're going into teamwork. Now is the time when we need all of our shots to, or most of them to land. Let's shred him further. Very good. Oh yeah, I definitely dare to strike you. Let's get rid of the priest who unfortunately dodges. Which then in return means our Templar needs to go in. Fantastic. That's a brilliant parry right there. Wait, what? Guy's not dead? Oh, come on. Really? I go where you tell me. Something of use. Volk says hello. Superior laser. Oh, advanced perception. That one is great. That one is fantastic. But there is a chance that we do have an ex, uh, a repeater here, so there is a bit of a chance uh, to kill him. Not happening right away. Hair trigger? No. Right, spectral army it is. Moves up. One down. Getting a little bit closer, just out of interest, can we get additional funds here? Always check the hack, always check the hack. That would be good, reinforcements would not be great. But 39% is a little bit low, oh, and I don't want to gamble anything away. There is the execution we've been looking for for a while. Good, Stormwalker. Does what any good Templar would do. Kills the Chosen in melee, one one Mano e mano. Very good. It would be cool if there would be a game mechanic where when you do um, kill uh, the Chosen, where that could uh, kind of cure your fear of the Chosen, because you are kind of overcame uh, came it by yeah, just working through it. But unfortunately that's not how it works in the game. Good. The moment that we knock him unconscious, reinforcements will trigger. Not immediately, immediately, but after this turn, we're going to see reinforcements. Well, 
Right up here, interesting. It doesn't matter if more reinforcements would be coming. Let's try to get that. extract the VIP before the rest is being extracted that way uh, the bug uh, that um, sometimes um, lets you fail the mission will not cure and that's another good one in the back yeah that was overall uh, that went fine The bewilderment is a nasty weakness of the uh, of the chosen. We still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. Uh, nine aim is not great, but it is okay. Standing job leading the resistance commander. Potentially put that onto one of. Um, one of our grenadiers there's a free resistance contact because we are kept on contacts that spawned so that'll help us to expand even further given the intel that we do have we could make contact down there We can build the skull jack whenever you give the word. Good. That's a game changer for us. Uh, we do have a lot of supplies. Let's do the most important stuff first. We wanted armor upgrades. Now alien alloys are short. We're short three alien alloys. Don't have uh, the dar uh, the um, the. Uh, black market at the moment, but this here will give us enough alien alloys to go over the hump That's four more days, which means We're going to go through at least one supply drop um, And I'm thinking what is the most important uh, for us weapon upgrades at the moment arm upgrades we can do both um, We're still seeing a steady we could get a little bit more income. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and a cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens um, can offer them what we, we would need to do. Most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. Oh, come on. Guys, you can have your uh, theoretical chatter in um, at another time. So, what I would want to do is temper. This is uh, the new engineer that we've gotten. Now we also got more contacts. With more contacts, I can immediately make contact here because we have enough info. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Need one more dot for voluntary armor, uh, voluntary army, 
and we can make contact here if we had just a little bit more intel unfortunately we don't which is okay so we upped it to 770 income fine i think for july already Commander, relatively good got a third blip here which makes it even juicier Good. And I think what I wanted to do is get the resistance order here for immediate uh, s supply gathering. Um, who needs more hit points? I want to keep the prime team where it is. Could take the skirmisher here. Could put them onto this mission together with another sharpshooter ambush don't care about it don't want to use uh, intel so the two of you can actually do this mission we'll get a nice little order out of it Covert is our specialty let's just hope your people can keep up and once this tired is gone we're going on to the next mission so more grenades are helpful you also need more aim and he's now seventh which gave him additional ability uh, points that of course we want to use in order to train Fortunately, he has no additional uh, stuff here. That's a bit... Oh wait, he does. Untouchable, that's super good. I was somewhat looking in, into that raw. Good, there you go. Holo targeting, fantastic. Um, let's see what else Roro is getting over time. So far, very, very good. Untouchable, great for this type of uh, challenge that we're trying to do. Sneak in a little Amplify from our Templar, and we're Gucci. Good. Uh, that is, I think, the Viper King. No, that was the Berserker Queen. Viper King is down here, so when we're approaching this year, um we should we should uh, get the alien weapons uh, in terms of just doing something meaningful here spider suit isn't bad it's actually quite good school jack is fine i suppose um I'll have the team get started immediately. we have enough course might as well do L, uh, mm, the ammo at the moment. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Your progress against the aliens over the Fantastic. Uh, nothing major here. Resistance. Uh, just trying to lower our income. Uh, that extra dark event sucks. Not a problem. This year, uh, show force, I'm trying to remove that. No problem. And the hidden event, not a problem either. Uh, and facility construction, however, is a problem. Might as well do that and get M ammo right away. We can circle it out afterwards. we can circle it uh, out of there afterwards so ap rounds great tail rounds was good as well tracer rounds not bad and let's think about do we need do we want to spark 
Yeah, it's a little bit late for that. I think I'll go for one spider suit. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. We still have enough alloy and delirium for armor and weapon upgrades because this year is going to clear in a second. Uh, then Gauss weapons come in, so we need money now. We'll get the resistance. Uh, the I resistance contact in a second. Commander, the aliens aren't slowing down. Good, that's the next facility. The globe. We're running out of time. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to... I will wait until the weapon upgrade, even though it takes us, uh, takes a few days off. Simply because it makes the fight so much easier. Another breakthrough uh, for ultra heavy armor. Um, I think I'll skip that one and we're going to go for blue screen rounds instead. But there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment. Those Good. Now, now we can upgrade, Just and we should do that now. first. Build items, armor, predator armor. Thank you. Continue building items. Uh, 20 alloys here, 20 alloys there. Can't get, can't get both. So what's more important, uh, cannons or um, or gauss rifle? I think we're going for cannons and uh, that rifle. Good, I think our power relay, uh, building a power relay here is not a bad idea. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have... Which means we can't expand our facilities further. I know. Okay, GTS, we have a whole host of upgrades here that we could uh, take most of them are really good but that's a money sink and I would like to keep uh, this for blue screen rounds however I think we are in a unique position where in one day the tiredness is gone and hence we can actually infiltrate Good. We got another supply rate. So it's one of those situations where you do have multiple missions. Do the ones first that you know are critical. And then we're going to do the supply rate, which I can definitely do with the B team. Got enough supplies already, but the supply rate will give us alloys and delirium as well. You know what? Um, here's the deal. Let's let's do the supply rate first, and uh, then the uh, then then uh, the facility, because that will give us alloys and delirium. Hence, we can upgrade the sniper rifle, and uh, that will make us even stronger for the actual fight against uh, the Viper King, which is going to be interesting. Now that clearly needs uh, to wait a little bit longer. The current research priority, Commander. Uh, there are a couple of really good things that I would want uh, to continue with. Um, so experimental weapons uh, for the um, alien rulers are an absolute fantastic option. Um, just because you do have uh, frost bombs and, and so on and so forth. 
uh, so you can fight them more effectively. The uh, axe is a free shot, um, so that will not trigger the ruler reaction. I am thinking about <clears throat> if we're if we're maybe doing the black side mission instead, simply because uh, that is easier, and I'm not sure if at that point I can flawless the Viper King due to its ruler reactions. I can get him down um, to flee, but we, it would depend a lot on a lucky crit, and I don't, um, I don't want to base this run on chances. We want to play good, solid XCOM. So, with the exception of inappropriate Murphy, we have the full first team ready, and we could get Shinrod as the other sharpshooter just in case. So let me get uh, team number two and uh, that will happen in the next episode when we're going to do a supply rate into either of the storyline missions. Thanks for watching, appreciate your viewership and if you like the run leave a big fat like and comment down below. See you soon, bye bye.